The Zack Snyder Cut is out, and does anyone else have a love-hate relationship with Zack's visual style? Every shot is maximum volume, but minimal tangibility. He's got gorgeous visual design, but every frame feels as if it's been painted on rather than captured with a lens. It's goddamn beautiful, though. So here's how to do Zack Snyder for zero dollars. There's some key elements to his visual style that I've noticed that I'm going to try to utilize, so let's see how close we can get. Download a superhero model from Mixamo. Get some really cool epic pose like this. Yeah, that works. Make it slow. Zacky boy loves his slow-mo. Add in a random city, epic cave, or really anything behind the character. Shallow depth of field is really going to help us out here. Cool camera move, bro. Moody, dynamic flickering, seizuring, inducing lighting, and foreground elements. Sparks, dust, lightning, flashy flying fludoodles. Look, I know the whole fix it and post thing is really overdone, but this technique actually can provide decent results for cheap, and you're really only limited by your creativity in your graphics card. 90% of these superhero movies are just animated films with actors' heads placed on top, so imagine if you used the same technique and shot your friends on a green screen, or even, you know, spent more than an hour on this.